fuck, I'm feeling things. <laughs> Hi. Blessed afternoon, Collective. I don't know what this is. Um, uh, it is a reading. I'm gonna pull the reading. <laughs> uh, just this intense wave came over me of so much, so much angst. Just this, oh, it's, it's, what is the word? Ennui? There's a little bit of that. There's a lot of that. It's an existential, an existential despair, an existential angst. It's deep. It's, it's collective. It is, oh, it is the North Node of Destiny squaring Pluto, retrograding through Capricorn. Why? Why? How? Is that it? I don't know. It just is. It's just what I feel. It, it's the end of not just an era. It's a bigger end. It's an end that we can feel in our bones. It's an end to a way of being on this planet. An end to a way that our species has existed. An end to the way that our present evolution of consciousness has existed for a long time. It feels like that moment when you're a kid and you realize you're growing up. You have that, that moment <laughs> where suddenly it hits you how everything has changed and is continuing to change, how you can't go back, how there is no back, how there's only forward, how you are only gonna keep growing. Realizing it's almost the loss of innocence type of feeling, but it, it's not so Nefarious. I don't know why that word. I, I don't know words. I don't know words. Words just happen sometimes. It's just suddenly something clicking. Seeing it in a new way and realizing, realizing it. Taking it all in. Seeing the bigger picture. And it's a big picture. It's a picture that is the whole spectrum. It includes everything. It includes everything from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows. It's like seeing the whole of your life at once. Uh, this is a sensation that in the past I would have expressed and can still express as feeling, feeling like my entire life is now, which is not inaccurate. It is, <laughs> in fact. In fact, everything that has ever happened or will happen exists simultaneously right now the whole of a lifespan exists in this moment and the truth of what I am is life is the whole of life <laughs> so it's layers of things but the way that this used to be uh, perceived by me is sort of feeling like I could feel the past and the future and the present all of it I could just feel it I can feel the whole of it And a little bit of that feeling of being at the end of a life as well. It's just this shifting. It is, it, it's an awareness of the change. An awareness of something being different and never going back to the way that it was. And there is that longing still, certainly. There's layers to it. There's a lot of it. A desperation to be right now. A desire to be. To be present. To be in the moment. To be the moment. To let go. To surrender. There's this urge. And a, a pushing. It's just something pushing through that is unstoppable, and we suddenly realize its inevitability. 
and are surrendering to that, succumbing to that. It, it's, it's that sort of feeling of after a funeral that this happened, the reality setting in, that feeling of something becoming real, really just hitting home. And it's heavy, and I'm not telling it not to be there, or that it's wrong. It's just what it is. There is heaviness here, and I allow it. And I want to pull on it, because I'm studying this shit. I want to pull on the soulmate cycle as sample for General Collective, but this has to do with what's happening right now to ego energy, which is masculine energy in all of us. Moses, it's heavy. I have this kind of headache. It was with me. It's been with me on and off all day, and it just sort of settled in right, right here as I started talking about this. Okay. Um, yeah, no, it is the animals. That's Let's pull on it. Let's see. What the hell? I have no plan. I never have a plan. There is no plan but the divine plan. And I just let that take place. Speaking of, it's judgment at the bottom. What's already, already trying to peek off the top is the Eight of Cups. Can't go back. Can't go back. There's, there's a bridge burned type of sensation really of just you know we we have moved on we can't go back it's like it's like moving out of grade school into junior high and you suddenly realize this is all different now i can't go back to grade school i can't go back to the way things were to playing kickball in the yard and those things it's something is getting more real it's a feeling of growing up of changing Something emerging. What's underneath that? Yeah, I thought I saw it. It's the tower. It's dramatic. It's quite dramatic. The deck is splitting all over the place. Two of Pentacles. Something has been decided. Again, yeah, just a decision has been made. Whether or not we realized it. In fact, it might be the realization that the decision was made for us by our lack of decision, our lack of action, but it's also a bigger level of just, this has taken place. The decision is made for you to graduate from sixth grade to seventh grade when you reach the end of sixth grade, when you've passed the classes and you get to the end of that year, there's not really anything else to do. There's no question. There's no choice in that. You don't get to just go, eh, I think I'll do sixth grade again for shits and giggles. That's not how this works. Yeah, that's not how this works. The, the, it's a sort of fighting growing up. But we know it's time. We know it's time for something to change. For a big shift. A big shift under the surface. Yeah. We have put in the work for this. We made it through the year. We passed all the classes. There's no denying this. It's time to go. It's time to move on. I don't know how this works for other people. I mean, I, I think it, there, sometimes there are grade schools, right, that are separate from high schools. I went to one of those schools. That school ended in sixth grade. There was no more of that school. So once you reached sixth grade, you graduated from elementary school and you went to a different school and it was saying goodbye to all of those people that you had spent that time with, all of your classmates. It was a big move, a big change to step into a new environment as a junior high schooler and all of that. And you felt that it's just the way I'm feeling it. I'm remembering distinctly that feeling of I'm not a kid anymore. I don't feel like a kid anymore. Suddenly it's serious, suddenly it's real, there's all this pressure, there's this big change, this new place, 
where I, I am expected to perform now. It's not just me learning. And that is maybe a problem with the school system in general, but yeah, th that something has changed. We're on a new path. We've been set on this path. There's no stopping it. As much as we might like to stay there, to stay forever 11 or forever 16 or whatever age it is, it's just growth is inevitable. It's to be embraced. There is no fighting this off. There's no preventing this. There's no fighting this off. There's no preventing this. It's time to let go of something. It's being released. It's being removed from our grasp. Whether or not we really want it to, it's just the universe is it's saying it's time to let go of this now and it's removing it yeah the fool brand new beginning it's time to go it is time to go it's time to go to the new school it's time to leave this one behind it's time to leave this old life behind this old way of being this shell it's time to emerge to transform to come out of the cocoon into the next phase we're moving into the next phase of evolution of life experience of existence yeah that eight of cups on top it feels scary because it's new it's unknown it's different it's weird it's unfamiliar we don't recognize any of this but it's here this new territory is where we are And the only choice is to go forward, is to just move forward, to just see, to explore, to invent, to begin this new adventure, really, to see it as an adventure. That's what this is. That's what all of this is. It's an adventure. There's no point in being afraid. It's okay to feel afraid. Don't let that stop you. We can stand still. We can just stay in this place. Or we can go out there and experience what's waiting for us. Queen of Swords. It's a truth. Yeah. It's time to move on. This is where we're headed. It's coming over this pass. And now we see everything that's behind us, but we can't go back. We've come this far. It's time to, to keep going, <laughs> to really get there. It's, the path has closed behind us. There's no going, going back down this mountain. We're gonna reach the summit. That's where we're headed. Let's get the deck. And yes, it's new terrain. We've never been there. Maybe no one has been there. But if we turn back, we really can't turn back, is, is the feeling. And then the other feeling of if we did turn back, we would never know. We gotta know. It's time for this new beginning. It's time for something fresh to grow. Something that's taken a long time. But we're there, we're, we're reaching this next phase. There's no stopping it. Yeah, <laughs> there's no stopping it. It's not the change that really is so scary. It's, it's our perception of it. It's our resistance to the change. When we just let the change happen, it's, it's fine. It's fun, actually. It becomes exciting. You learn to feel excited about the unknown and the uncertainty. And again, see it as an adventure when you feel your stability, your safety, you know that all is well. Yes, this is new unexplored terrain, but this is what we're here to do. We're here to grow, we're here to explore. There's nothing that can go wrong. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's okay that it feels a little scary because it's different, that's okay. Doesn't mean anything is wrong. Move forward anyway, it's time for this. 
Let's pull a reading on the soulmate cycle. <sighs> Extending the in- fuck, wow. Okay, I did not get anywhere in to the shuffle before cards just started to fall out. <sighs> I'm pulling on the soulmate cycle as a sample for general collective. That is my main focus, is how this applies to ascension. And I'm asking for the influence specifically of the energies right now, which in particular include the North Node in Aries squaring Pluto in Capricorn. And there are multiple squares that happen in the next couple of days. I'm pulling generally on that energy. <laughs> it's temperance at the bottom and it, it it's a sobering, energy, especially with this Ace of Swords that fell out face up. I've got two other cards that fell face down here. It's just, the truth is so clear. It's so obvious. It might not be what we wanted to hear, but it's what we needed to hear. It's what we needed to drive us forward. Sometimes when we have these epiphanies, a lot of times, it's something that we didn't want to look at. Something that we didn't want to see some behavior, some way of being in ourself that we didn't want to admit to. But we have to admit to it in order to change. Nothing went wrong there. We had to behave that way, following an unconscious pattern, and then have the reaction to it of, I don't like this. I see this and I, I'm not happy with it. In order to have the clarity and the comprehension of what is it that would make me feel better? What behavior in myself do I want to embody and present and move forward with? I couldn't know that and I couldn't make that choice consciously without having experienced the unconscious and then felt the discomfort with it. Painful truths that are making sense that are putting us on this new path. Yeah, they're hard to look at. We're t we used to be able to push them down. We can't anymore. We cannot, not under this energy, not any longer because it doesn't serve us. It's time to move forward in a different way. To follow the inner wisdom, to follow the light within the light that we generate. Not some light we see out there to follow our own inner light and the soul, the lovers. Yeah, to follow the soul. The soul is in motion. The soul is leading us. The soul is ready for this adventure and it's calling us forward. It's calling us ahead. It's time to listen to it to trust, to take a deep breath, to understand it's okay to feel the fear. It's not a leap of faith if it feels safe, is it? The soul asks us to leap in faith, to follow it, to trust. It says, I know you feel afraid. I know you can't see what's ahead. It's all darkness. That's what it seems like, right? Just take that deep breath, quiet yourself, and listen, listen, look for the flash. You'll feel it. And this, just move that direction. You don't need to see the entire path. You only need to see the next step. That's it. Let the next step be illuminated and take that step and trust. You just keep feeling your way forward. It's in the hidden energy. Chariot, yeah, it's, it's time to move. It's time to go. It's go time. We're on the road. It's, it's, you know, get on the bus. We're going to school. It's time for a new phase for all of the obscured truth to come to light, particularly within everything that we've denied to ourselves is coming to light. Whether or not we wanted to look at it, we were able to shut it down before. We were able to look away. That's not an option anymore. It's just not. It's not. It's, it's time to learn. It's time to get the lesson. 
It's time to graduate from this class. We're at the end of the school year here. It's time for the next one. What's in the final outcome? Two of Cups. Balance. Yes, soulmate energy. Yes, soulmates coming together. But it's balance, ultimately. It's time for the culmination of this phase. It's time to move on. It's time to come together with the soul. That is what the balance of masculine and feminine energy is about. It is about that within you, your masculine and your feminine, your ego mind and your soul coming together. And it's very scary to the ego. It feels very scary because it's used to relying on the mind, to relying on physical senses, that which we can touch, that which we can measure and document. And the soul is all about feeling. It's all about trust. It's all about intuition. It just gives you a sense, a sense of it, a taste, and asks you to follow it, to trust that, to believe that over what your eyes see. Again, the mind would tell you, if you are in a dark room, to stand still. Don't move, because you can't see. You don't know where your next step is going to lead you. The soul says, you can't just stand here forever. It's time to move. I will guide you. I will show you the way. We feel the way. When you can't see, you feel. Trust me. Trust yourself to feel. You don't need to feel 50 feet in front of you. You just need to feel the next step. And even if it feels like it's not there physically, even if you can't physically feel it, trust it. I know what's ahead. I'm leading you. I know that there's a drop here, but it lands on solid ground and it takes you where you want to go. Even if you're reaching your foot out there and you don't feel anything underneath it, this is the way. Trust me. Just trust me. Take that deep breath. Take that step forward. I'm going to clarify with the rider weight today. What's at the bottom of that? Knight of Swords. It's time to go. It's go time. It's Exodus energy, and it is specific truths getting through. Conversations had within, epiphanies, understandings. Yeah, justice, communication within, which naturally desires to express without. But my focus is on the way that this affects ascension. And it all begins within. It's more balanced energy as well. Balanced healing. It's, it's deeply emotional. It's a lot of feels. It's big in the feels. This is a very emotional truth, a very emotional understanding. Again, that, that nostalgia type of energy of realizing you're not a kid anymore and kind of looking back and having that the wistfulness the wishing for it but understanding why it's important to be here now why all of that was important it led us to this place and now we're here and this place that we are here is beautiful it's exactly where we are meant to be and it's time to move ahead yeah boldly trusting intuition there's something very mysterious we're wandering through a forest at night and all we have to guide us is the inner light but it's there it's there there's the hanged man underneath it is a little bit of dark night of soul energy for sure That fear, that just asking to let go. Yeah, that is a fool again. The fool directly underneath the hanged man. That is a leap of faith where you do not know where that is leading you. And it, it feels like nowhere. It feels like falling. Flying always does. Just, just for a good measure underneath that. The three of wands. Yeah, it, 
time for new. The new horizon awaits. That mountain peak, we can see it. We've been moving towards it. Maybe without realizing. Now we're realizing it. We're realizing we're making progress. We're getting there. And we can't go back. <laughs> Tell me about this Ace of Swords. I hope my phone doesn't die. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Holy shit. Hold on. I can't. The cards are going everywhere. I saw the devil. I dropped several cards. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. This truth can't be stuck anymore. It's got to come out. It's coming out. Nine of Pentacles fell out first. That was the first card to jump out. I dropped four or five. It is time to liberate ourselves from the burden of holding back. Holding back on who and what we truly are. And a realization, too, that, that keeping these truths in is keeping us stuck. We have the power to set ourselves free. We have the power to liberate ourselves. How? By embracing what is, by surrendering to what is, and specifically by embracing these truths and letting them loose, letting them live. What else fell out? All kinds of shit. Let's see. King of Cups, Knight of Cups. It's, it's time to let the emotions loose not to withhold them. There's a lot of love here that wants to come out and a new understanding of stability again in letting the soul lead. There's no stability in staying still. The mind will tell you if you're in a dark room not to move. It'll say that's safe, that's stable because you can feel the ground beneath you. It's none of those things. It's stagnant, it's stuck. It's small, it's diminished. The soul says, I know the way. I know the true balance is found in the flow. It's found in the motion. Trust me, flow with me, surrender all else. And there you will find the stability. There in the surrendering to the flow, you will find balance, you will find peace. Let it express, let it out. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not taking all of these. Why is the nine of cups here? There's that eight, nine of cups. Nine of Pentacles, but that's important. Yeah, it, we're not happy. We're not happy unless we're doing this. We're not happy unless we are flowing with our energy. We're not happy focused on the control anymore. It doesn't feel good. It's keeping us controlled. It's keeping us stifled. It's stifling the soul. The soul wants to move. The freedom is found in following the soul, which just means freely flowing the emotions, expressing them, embracing them, whatever is there in the present moment, accepting the isness of it. And when you have a truth, especially an emotional one, you share that. You move with it. You just let it be. been stuck a long time. It's heavy. Tell me about the Seven of Wands, please. I can't keep the cards together. I cannot. They are doing their own thing. I barely got the shuffle and the Wheel of Fortune just came back. <laughs> Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's breaking loose. It does not matter. Ten of Pentacles, everything is changing. Everything is changing. Seeing all of this in a new light. Oh God, my battery's getting lower and lower. I'll have to speed this up a little bit. It's just, a, it's a paradigm shift. It's a world shift. Nothing is the same. King of Wands underneath the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. There's that Knight of Wands in the moon. It, being guided by ego is not serving us. Being obsessed with the physical world, with the pentacles, with material, with reputation, with status, with how other people perceive us. 
being invested, investing our whole sense of self, our whole identity in a career, in a, a way of being, in a relationship, in whatever it is that we have identified with, that's falling away. It's falling away. And when that happens, ego freaks out because it's, it's wrapped up in it. But it forces us into the place of presence of realizing I am not that. That ends and I continue. And by extension, all things end. All forms, ultimately, are unstable. They are temporal. They come to an end. But that which I am, my soul, is eternal. It continues. And it is well. It's stable. No matter what collapses around me, I carry on. And I carry on being well. It's time to carry on, the magician. It's time, it's time to carry on. It's time to move forward to take the lessons and charge ahead into the next phase, the next stage. Karma is being closed. That's, that's why all of this is changing. Everything is being removed. It can no longer be sustained. It is no longer supported. We're done. <laughs> We're done with that. And it is that feeling too of it's time to perform. It's time to put this to the test, to put into practice the feeling and flowing of intuition, the following of emotion. It's time to follow faith, not just talk a big game about it, but actually walk that talk. Yeah, I get that. And the soul is leading. The soul is, it's lit, it's ready. It's here for this. Tell me about the lovers. Tell me about the lovers. These cards are so, Sticky. Tell me about the lovers. It's time to don your Technicolor dream coat. Mm. Oh, okay. There we go. The star. Destiny, guiding light. Yeah, the soul knows exactly where it's going. These geese know exactly where they're going, right? And they know internally. They don't have a compass. Nobody told them where to go. They're not telling each other, yeah, you take a left up here, it's Saskatchewan. There's an internal compass. It's intuition that guides geese and other birds and butterflies and all kinds of things on their migratory patterns. The soul knows. It senses this. It's time to go and to open up specifically to that flow of emotion. What's on top? The Hierophant is, come on. It's decreed. It has been so decreed. It's time to get free. It's time to get happy. It's time to stop limiting ourselves, to let loose, to let the expression take place. It's red with the Hierophant. Oh, I forgot to turn it around, so it's still reversed. It's that Ten of Swords. It... How do I feel this? It is an ending that... There's multiple things. There is one thing, one layer that is an ending. And another layer that is a new beginning, that something that we pushed away, that we, we killed, <laughs> something that we put ten swords in, is being brought back, is being reversed, is being resurrected. That can just be the soul energy, which is feminine energy. I mean, that is, that is the connection between masculine and feminine internally, is being revived and alighted, shined the spotlight on, it, it's just illuminated, and everything else is being obscured, everything else being obscured, being removed, being released, yeah, okay. about the chariot 
you know what? No, I want one more. I don't know why, but I want one more. Tell me, tell me a little bit more about this Ten of Swords. What? I know why, but what? Spirit's got to be vague because it's a lot of what. It figures. Yeah, <laughs> something from the past being revived, something that was planted a long time ago that now the, the energy is being aligned for. It had been misaligned, it got thrown out of alignment, spirit's putting it back. <laughs> now, now is the time. It's being corrected. Uh, beyond that, it's a dramatic shift. It, it's just something that's meant to be. What is meant to be is becoming. It's that feeling of just certain things that were planned, that were a part of the plan and, and whatever, this timeline, this cycle. Now is the time for those events to transpire, whatever they are, quickly, dramatically. And it is for the balance of energy, it's for the release of karma, and it's to bring us what we really want. It's to bring us what we asked for those seeds that we planted that we forgot about because they were seeds planted from our true heart. Look at that. Eight of cups, nine of cups. It is something being brought back around, but that something has to do with the release of something we were supposed to walk away from. Again, not talking specifics here. It's just, it can be just a way of being. It can be anything. Yes, it can be a person, a relationship, a job, a physical location, uh, a dog. It doesn't matter. It, it's just something that was supposed to be is now being. Something that we didn't let be. <laughs> Spirit's coming back around and saying, you know what? This is, this is how it is. This is what you asked for. You asked for this. So now this. <laughs> now this. And again, it's just, it's go time. It is, it's time. It's time for this. No more waiting, no more sitting around. The first day of school is here. It's not just some dream, some future imagined event. It's right now. We're doing it right now. Tell me about the chariot. What's the chariot about? Tell me about the chariot, please. Following faith, I am really getting that. Just drawn to the moon on the forehead of the horse. Just, it's time to charge ahead based on feeling. Look at that. What are we feeling? <laughs> the Empress. <laughs> it's time to move towards the Empress. <sighs> Again, Empress energy is soul energy. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, it applies at every level. It has to, it's all connected. It doesn't mean any specific events occur. That's not how this works. The universe is predictive up to a point and there are certain things that play out the way that they have to for the benefit of all. But it never, it never means that, yeah, it's just, it's a change. It's time for this to resolve. It's time for the masculine energy to resolve the imbalance with the feminine energy. What that looks like specifically, can't say. It's different for everybody. It isn't necessarily one thing. For some people, it is. It is a very specific thing. But typically, no. It's just, it's new, it's new beginning. Yeah, on top of the Nine of Cups, which I Freudian slipped this as, and it's red with the Nine of Pentacles. It's time for the happiness to flow, the real happiness, and understanding that that's actually the liberation of truth, the liberation of our own energy, not keeping our own energy locked down. That's where the good feeling comes from, is from flowing. It's not from something out there. It's not from some result. 
It's not from a situation. It's not from anything that we achieve with our doing. It's from being. Being authentic, flowing with your own energy, accepting, surrendering to that flow. That's what feels good. The resistance to that feels not good. It's how we are in control of our own experience at all times. We are self-sustained and self-satisfied. All it takes is to continuously flow with the energy, to let it happen. To let it happen. It's happening. Old stuff. Old stuff that's been there a long, 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 long time. Stuff that we thought was stable. It was a structure. It was a form. And all forms are unstable. It's, it's being revealed as unstable. It's being removed so that the new growth can take place. There is just no choice in this. It's how it works. The same way we don't choose the weather. We don't choose what season it is. We don't choose that the sun comes up. Where in the sky exactly it's oriented in relation to us. Or what time it appears to rise. We don't choose any of those things. They're natural processes that take place. They're built into the function of the universe. We have no control over them. We just experience them. That's what this is. And ultimately, they are designed by us for ourselves, for our own highest benefit at the highest level. Final outcome, two of cups, balance, communication, communication, action. Why is the two of cups here? Because it's time to take action on this. Yeah, action towards the empress because of this. Why? Because of the pain, because we can't sit in this anymore. It's too heavy. It's time to let this go. We can't sit, we're seeing how we've created this prison. A prison of lies, a prison of withheld emotion. It's time to let those things go. We have trapped ourselves and so made ourselves miserable because trapped energy, what we, what we are is, is free. When we engage in anything that is not free, we're going against our own energy and it does not feel good. It's time for the free flow of emotion the free expression of it. It is time for action to be taken. What that action is, I cannot say. But yeah, it's six of swords, seven of wands again, that four of wands, strength, page of cup, the sun. It's time to move. It's time to move on. Something is ending. It's time at least to end something and accept that new beginning is rolling in. That's what it is. Um, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. There's something else. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? The Fool. Okay. I mean, it, this is pretty explicit. <laughs> it's... it's <laughs> The Divine Feminine shows up as Empress Energy and Queen of Pentacles Energy most often. It's time to move towards the Divine Feminine. Yes, this heavily implies communication, but I'm not saying that means a person communicates with any specific other person. At the first and foremost level, it's internal. It's time for our internal energies to have this conversation and to come into balance for an internal action to happen and it, it is happening the birds in the air that i'm drawn to and it's just two it's it's it is a meeting of minds a meeting of hearts a realization of ego that it can't continue on this path anymore it's not getting anywhere it's not serving itself it's not satisfying itself it's not actually getting what it wants <laughs> It would serve itself by releasing all of this previous preconditioned behavior. Surrendering the outcome and just flowing with the soul. Following faith. It's time to put the faith into practice. To take action.
actually take that leap. Not just consider it, not just think about it, certainly not question it. Just do it. It's just a leap of faith. You just, you just go for it. You see where it leads you. It can't lead you astray. There is only ever benefit to be found. I feel a little bit nauseous, to be honest. It's a little queasy, but it, it, it's just, you gotta go. You gotta go, you gotta do it. Three cards, three cards and a bottom card. What else do you want to say, universe? Summarize this, wrap this up. Just saw the King of Cups again. It's just time to freaking speak and the magician. Yeah, it's showtime. It is showtime. It's time to step up. It's time to stand out. It's time to be seen and heard. It's time to put this into practice. Now, the tower, third time in this reading that it's come out. Let's ride with the Magician, the Hermit. To put the faith into practice, it's time to follow the soul. We know this trick. The Magician knows this trick, inside and out. It's been practicing it for lifetimes. The soul knows how to lead, knows how to follow itself. It's time to do it. It's time to go, let's ride with the tower. There's no stopping it. <laughs> There is no fighting it. There just is not. Five of wands read with the tower. This is a pile of twigs. This is an act of nature. <laughs> the lightning bolt that has enough power to strike and knock down this mighty redwood is just going to blow this pile of twigs into space. Uh, that's, that's what's happening here. It's all just, pff, it's been blown up. The resistance is futile, and the resistance is being removed. And underneath that magician is the Wheel of Fortune, pushing this forward, saying, It's time. It's time. Go. Move. Act. Speak. Express. Just trust. Again, I'm, I am drawn to the light in the dark. Standing there, standing in the dark, not taking action. It's not satisfying anymore. It's not serving us. We're realizing how small we feel there. We need to take a step. We need to speak. We need to make a move, make a sound. Something has to happen. And it cannot be the way that it was. It just doesn't fly anymore it doesn't feel good and it it doesn't work we see that it's not been working we can't in good conscience we can't feel good about ourselves continuing on that path we have to do something else if we want to feel good about ourselves and we do we have to make a change we have to choose differently moving forward and we have to feel and we have to express just that This is, it's heavy energy. I still have a headache. I feel a little less queasy now, but I need to drink some water, actually. I, I feel a little unwell <laughs> after this. Um, it's just intense. It's what it is. <laughs> oh. Something about two... Uh, 